ITC's turn. Manglam, what can we expect here? Well, uh, a good set is what the street is working with this time around. The stock price really mirrors that. It's up 70% in the last 12 months or so at a record high. And uh, while it is trading at a discount to the other FMCG peers, by its own measure, it is actually expensive now at 26 times one year forward earnings. So this is something we'll have to watch out for. In terms of what to expect for ITC, the key number to watch out for is the number that they don't reveal, which is the cigarette volume growth. Street infers that, you know, this time around the cigarette volume growth could be anywhere between 12 to 13 odd percent. FMCG revenue should grow by around 15 to 16 odd percent. Uh, the hotels business, we've seen good numbers coming from all the hotel players. So 40 to 50 percent jump in the hotel revenue is what we're anticipating. Whereas paper growth moderates to around 0 to 5 percent. Whereas there could be a decline of 12 to 15 percent in their agri trading business, which of course happens on a high base and the fact that uh, wheat exports have been banned. So put all these numbers together on an overall basis. Revenues X excise, you're expecting a 5.5 percent jump out there. 16,380 crores on the top line. EBITDA grows much higher at 19 percent. Expecting a number close to 6,250 odd crores. That means margins at around 38%. And the net profit as a result of which grows by 17.5%. The important number that you're looking out uh, uh, for the net profit is closer to 49.25 crores. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot uh, for that, uh, Mangalamba. Well,